Shalom, la habakarium, shal yashallah. Peace to the elect of Israel. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Native American Indians, and you Israelites, you Israelite foreigners. Uh, Israelites who are scattered among all other nations. Shalom to all of you. All right, before we get started with this lesson, we're going to face the East and let's give the much due. All phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash, Koloim La, Abanawa, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. And Shalom to you, believers. To the Akim wa Agwa, which will be you brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Abarazza, this lesson is edifying and playing upon the tables. I'm your brother Malkaya out here in Pasadena, Texas, representing Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. All right, so this lesson is going to be a response to a short video that the brother Ambuan Gabar uploaded onto his channel. All right, let's put it right here. You may know him as uh, GMS Awakening. All right, um, uploaded this video. And it's titled it as From the Apostles of Great Millstone on down. We've been giving you warning. For an example, warning of what? The MOTB, Mark of the Beast. All right, the Mark of the Beast. All right. Mention the Book of Revelation. The mark of the beast. This right here, the MOTB. All right. Starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, the men on down. We've been giving you warning. All right. So I'm going to play this clip right quick. 100 countries are in some stage of developing a central bank digital currency, otherwise known as a CBDC. They're coming to your country soon, and here's why that's a big deal. A CBDC is digital cash like crypto, but it's controlled and programmed centrally by your government. But what's wrong with money right now? The system's outdated. The requirements to just open a bank account leave tons of people without one. And once you do, you have to pay the bank for storing your money. If you want to move that money, it takes two to three days because they have to verify the money in your account. With a CBDC, money is all controlled under one institution, so it's like currency in a video game. So transfers, taxes, and stimulus checks would all be programmable. That sounds nice. Yeah, but because the government would now have the power to track, delete, and create money instantly, people are worried. Eventually, the government could implement monetary policy that's good for the economy, but terrible for you. For example, they could stimulate the economy by putting expiration dates on the money in our accounts, so we have to go out and spend it on things before a certain date. If you do something the government doesn't like, like protesting, they could automatically fine you, freeze your account, or shut you out of the system completely. Also, large corporations could pressure the government to censor use of the currency on certain products while heavily promoting theirs. But what do you think? Let's just get let's get straight into the scriptures, okay? Only have like five scriptures that I brought out. All right, I'm trying to get straight to the point with this. Very plain upon the tables too. Our brothers are the Book of Amos, chapter three, verse seven, in the King James version. Surely, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, will do nothing but He revealeth. His secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, and one of the many secrets, right? A secret that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has revealed unto his prophets, starting with our elders, apostles, and bishops of Great Millstone and on down, is what? The vision of the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast. 
this thing right here. The secret of the MOTB, what it truly is. All right. Surely the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And those prophets are going to have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, which is what? The spirit of prophecy to be able to foretell future events that are soon to come to pass. All right. The book of Revelation. All right. The book of uh, Revelation, Revelation chapter 19, verse 10 in the KJV. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All right. So, yeah, like the brother titled the lesson for this video from the apostles of Great Millstone on down, we've been giving you warning. All right. Let's see. The angel referred to John as brethren, showing that the Israelites are angels too. Yeah. All right. But to stay on topic. All right. The part I want to get out of here was that the testimony of the Messiah in the Bible, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, he saved, he delivers. All right. Because Jesus only meet earth pig. Okay, Jesus is a false name. Okay, but Yahweh Shai, right? For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's what the prophets of Yahweh Shai are going to have, who he revealed his secrets onto. And today's topic, we're going into the MOTB. All right, so let's go into um, Ezekiel. Three and um seventeen, if I'm not mistaken, or nineteen. No, no, Salaki, Salaki. The wall that I be how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Ezekiel chapter seven, verse nineteen. About like throwing the money out the streets. Okay, yeah. So the book of Ezekiel, chapter seventeen, verse nineteen, in the KJV. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. All right, we're going to get that in NLT right quick for better understanding. New Living Translation for Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 19. They will throw their money. They will throw their money in the streets. For example, America. These Americans who put their trust in the system. You've been stocking up on money. You've been saving money. Your whole motive was, I'm all about the bag. I'm all about the money. I'm all about the, the dollars. These are going to be the same people that's going to be throwing their money in the streets. They will throw their money in the streets, tossing it out like worthless trash. For example, when the dollar here in America is literally useless, when the dollar collapse, which it will collapse soon. 
they will throw their money in the streets, tossing it out like worthless trash. Their silver and their gold, like it, their silver and gold won't save them on that day of the Lord's anger, of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai's anger. It will neither satisfy nor feed them. For their greed can only trip them up. So when the dollar collapsed in America, when it finally, literally, when it finally collapsed, okay? Um, there's no amount of dollars. One dollar bills, two dollar bills, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, your twenties, your hundreds, your fifties. Your little savings you probably got hiding somewhere. Your, uh... You know, the amount of savings or money. You cannot buy your way out of the day of the wrath of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah. You can't just say, hey, Yahweh Bashmiel Shah, I got $200,000 to be exempt from judgment. No, nah, there's no amount of riches on this earth that can deliver you from the wrath of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah. You have to be of the elect of Israel, the, the, the one third of the remnant. And now, Barazazah, we are of that number. And you have to be a Hebrew Israelite. All right? Other nations are not getting that. All right? And it mentioned here, too, that it will neither satisfy nor feed them. So, real soon, the same money. That you're able to get food with, you're able to shop and buy with, right? You're able to buy and sell with, right? The dollars, right? Your debit card, right? Credit card. Some places still take like checks, paper, like paper written check, like bank checks. Um... Some places still take coins, you know, like your, your your pennies, your nickels, your dimes, your quarters, your half a dollar coins, if, like the 50 cent uh, coins. Some places still take coins, right? But real soon, you won't be able to use these form of currencies to feed yourself. That's why people, people are going to be throwing away these dollars, these coins, Right? Like it's worthless trash. Why is that? Okay. Uh, for an example, um, I'm going to get that why. Revelation chapter 13. I'm going to get straight to the point, verse 16 and 17. All right. So the book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right? So when you go into that, and by the way, this mark, it doesn't matter where you get it at in your body. You can put it in your left hand, right hand, both hands, your shoulders, your forearms, your, your kneecaps, your foot. Your buttocks, your private parts, your stomach, doesn't matter where you get that inside of your body, okay? You are forbidden to get that, to get that uh, RFID chip, all right? It's going to be mandatory for everybody. doesn't matter if you're a celebrity, if you're, if you're part of the one, if you're part, you know, if you're like a, what do you call it? A, you could be a millionaire, you could be a celebrity, all right? You could be the most top-notch Instagram fitness model, the well-known uh, OnlyFans puta out there, right? It doesn't matter who you are. This is going to be mandatory for everyone to get to partake in the New World Order. Breakdown. A mark. The RFID microchip. The word mark is... Chagma, Chagma, right? Or some brothers would say, uh, Charagma, 
or charagma, which means incision, right? Which means an incision. You are forbidden to take the chip anywhere on your body. Incision, right? When you go into the blood of the Bible, you get etching. The word etch, E T C H, etch, etching, which goes into cut, cut in. And within the definition, you will get incision, make an opening, right? A incision upon the skin or flesh with a sharp tool object. What do you see right here? A sharp edge, Salakia, a sharp edge tool object, which is getting ready to make a incision upon the skin and the flesh would leaves a wound behind. Okay. All right. Incision, a surgical cut made in skin or flesh. Okay. And we, everyone is forbidden to take the chip, especially Israelites, so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, men, women, children, young, old. Okay. Um, and we want to get more information on that too. Uh, I'm going to go to the Blue of the Bible right quick for that word, uh, Mark. Revelation 13. Let's see. Uh, and, uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Third, uh, 16 and 17, right? And he, cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, a charagma, a RFID chip, in their right hand or in their foreheads. Remember, you take it anywhere in your body, it's forbidden. Right, and who is that he that calls of all? Who is that he that calls of all? Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark and a right hand for us. The wicked at least. The very people who to the earth was given to the hands into. All right. All right. This is who was given into. The Amalekites, the small hats, the Jewish people. Your wicked elites, the high banking family, the rock childs. Alright. The rock child. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, so since they both have Mark and by here, let's continue working on Mark right quick. Strong's G, 5480, Haragma. Haragma. All right. A stamp, an imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead, right? Think of the brain chip, for example. Right. Or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Right. Anti Mashiach, anti Yahweh. All right. So you take this, uh, the C hip, right? You get stamped, you get marked with this inside of you. Right. You have received your badge of being a follower of the Savior, the Messiah, especially as a Hebrew Israelite, right? As a Hebrew Israelite, those who are on this chart right here, you take this mark, this RFID, the radio frequency identification chip, the MOTB, the mark of the beast, you have just took, you have just been stamped with the badge of anti, he save, he delivers. You are anti Yahweh Shai. You are anti Yahweh Shai if you get that MOTB. All right. 
So this now going to that word by, right? By agarazo. All right. See that word by right here? By. You're gonna go into that word by right quick. That no man might buy or sell. Strong's G fifty nine, agarazo. Agarazzo. All right, we're going to get straight to the point here. To be in the marketplace, to attend it, to do business there, buy or sell. Of idle people, to haunt the marketplace, lounge there. So in order to lounge at your current place of dwelling or to even have a dwelling place to have a place called home, a roof over your head, right? Somewhere where you can sleep and rest your head at night. In order to enter public facilities to get your victuals, your fools, your your, your daily bread, your fool, to, to go to do shopping. In in order to still have access to entertainment out here. Right, you want to go to your clubs to shake your raggedy ass for the night. You want to go to the bar, get some drinks. You want to go to the movies to watch a movie. You want to go to a restaurant to eat, right? The things that you're still able to do right now to this day, you won't be able to do that unless you are stamped, unless you are a slave in your system. Okay, and that's what I forgot to get to. I'm going to get that too. When you go into that word mark, you get a badge of servitude. Servitude goes into uh, 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 slavery, slave, all right, bondage. Okay, but yeah, lounge there, right? Right, lie, sit, or stand in a relaxed or lazy way. Right, so you want to be able to lie, sit, or stand in a relaxed or lazy way at a patio, at a restaurant, at a coffee shop, at your place of dwelling. You want to be able to, you know, do that at a hotel room that you book from maybe you're traveling. You're going to have to be a slave, a servitude, and a, and a follower of the Antichrist, the follower, a follower of anti Yahweh Shai, of Mashiach. You're going to have to be a slave in this digital system. I mean, go to the now, number one, a public room, as in a hotel, theater, or club, in which to sit and relax. Okay. Let's go back to that word mark right quick. So I can get that word. Uh, well, the definition. Um, you get uh, the badge of servitude. Uh Let's see. Yeah, right, right down here. As a badge of servitude. Right, as a badge of slavery. The badge of enslavement. The badge of bondage. Okay. Servitude. The state of being a slave or completely subject to someone more powerful. Completely subject onto who who's powerful right now, who who the earth was given to the hands to, to the wicked, so-called white men, the wicked elites, the Edomites, so-called Caucasians, Amalekites, the small hats, the Jewish, the so-called Jews, the synagogue of Satan's, the wicked, all right, the Rothschild family. <clears throat> Right, so in order to be able to partake in this white ass society, you got to be a slave in this industry, man. Right, let's get one more. Uh, let's get two more. Uh, Revelation uh, 3 and 10. This is our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, the Messiah, the Anointed, the book of Revelation. Chapter 3, verse 10. 
because thou hast kept the word of my patience, right? You kept a command to endure, right? You kept a command to long suffer, all right? You kept fighting the good fight of fate. You try your best to continue making your calling election sure, serving your Hawabashmi Shai, being holy, being set apart from the people of this world, the traditions of this world, the customs of this world, trying your best to serve your Hawabashmi Shai, trying your best to be righteous, to trying to do what's best that's pleasing your Hawabashmi Shai. Right, whatever you were given in your lot, a prophet, a teacher, a helper, a sincere believer. Right, you do something that supports the body of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You're one of the many members that makes up the body, making your calling election sure, just trying your best because thou hast kept the word of my patient. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation, Salakia. We just read that in Revelation. Right? He caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Right? And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, a charagma, a RFID chip, the MOTB, the mark of the beast, in their right hand, their foreheads, and that no man may buy and sell. The following verse, verse 17, right? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee, right? Keep you from the hour of temptation. When the MOTB is now mandatory in order to what? Agarazo, buy or sell. than the GNT, right? So you can see for yourself. You know, it's a commandment to keep. It's like it's a commandment to endure. We have to endure. You can't just give up, man. The good news translation. Oh, my bad. That's 13 and 10. 3 and 10 I need to get. 3 and 10. All right. Because you... Have kept my command to endure. I will also keep you safe from the time of trouble. The hour of temptation, for example. Even even Jacob's trouble. Right? Right? But especially the MOTB. When Esau starts to initiate the chip by force. I will also keep you safe from the time of trouble. Which is coming upon the world to test all the uh, I think verse nine on down. Yep. So you see here, right? Doom for worshippers of the beast. Revelation chapter fourteen, verse nine, KJV. All right. And a third angel followed them, 
saying with a loud voice, if any man that applies to women, children, young, old, anyone, right? Anyone. If any man worship the beast and his image, oh, Salakia. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, his mark, whose mark? The white man's mark, so-called white man's mark, right? The wicked's mark. The RFID, the RFID chip, that must be in his forehead, the brain chip, for example. Or in his hand, left hand, right hand, it could be anywhere in your body, right? Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, his anger, his wrath, right? His anger, right? You see right there? His anger, his wrath, okay? His righteous anger. And he, right? And he, and he shall be tormented. And she, anyone who takes it, right? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb, the Lamb, Yahweh Shai Masiach. So verse 9, right? The image represents the image of the Roman Empire. An example is laws, legislations, architecture, and etc. The Roman Empire has been reincarnated today as America. All right. Verse 10, breakdown. Presence of the holy angels. The angels will be present delivering the elect when America is destroyed by that fire and brimstone, the lake of fire, that thermonuclear destruction that is soon to come to America. That's going to be done by, for example, the, the nukes, all the nations that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare none, just paraphrasing the book of Jeremiah, right? When World War III is at its peak, and all these nations are going to have the spirit from Yahweh Shah to, to empty out the clip on America, pretty much. Empty out every missile, every nuke, every missile, let it all out. Don't leave now one missile behind. Let them all out, right? 200 million missiles, 200,000, thousand arrows, right? 200 million missiles is going to hit America, and cause a lake of fire, the fire and brimstone, that thermonuclear destruction. And those who took the MOTB, you worship the NWO, the New World Order, are going to be destroyed out here in America. Okay? And this is going to be done in the presence, presence of the holy angels. The angels will be present when delivering the elect from America's destruction. Okay? In the presence of the Lamb, the Messiah. The anointed Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Verse 11. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night. Who worship the beast and his image. And whosoever receiveth the mark, the charagma of his name. All right. So this is the judgment. There's no place of repentance once you have been stamped, you've been marked. You got your badge as the badge of servitude. You're a slave in the system now. You are anti-Christ, right? anti Yahweh Shai, anti-anointed, anti-Mashiach, anti Yahweh Shai. You are anti he saved, he delivers. You're going to be put to death here. You're going to be tormented, right? Kamastiso, the Greek for scorch, to be tormented by fire, right? When you read the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 8 and 9, scorch, right? You're going to be kamastiso. You're going to be scorched. You're going to be tortured with intense heat. Salakia, intense heat. That fire and brimstone, that lake of fire. All right, so I'll brought this out. The lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. Hopefully you learned something from today's topic. 
do not take the MOTB or you will be put to death. All right. You will be tormented. All right. Take the MOTB, Mark of the Beast, is this thing right here. All right. And if you take it, you will be put to death. You are forbidden to take this. All right. So let's close out by giving a much through all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rachak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's labor and the works. Shalom to you, believers. To the Akim Wa which will be you, brothers, and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to the truth. All right? Shalom.